Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today our topic is how to create AWS Open Search Service Domain. So in this video we will see how we can create an Amazon Open Search Service Domain. We will see what is Amazon Open Search in details. We can also see the differences between Open Search and Elastic Search. Creating an Amazon Open Search involves several steps, and I'll guide you through the process in a simple and detailed manner. This guide will walk you through creating an Amazon Open Search cluster and retrieving the necessary connection details, including the host name, username, and password. So first, we will see what is Amazon Open Search service. Open Search is an open source search and analytics engine derived from Apache Lucene. In this context of AWS, Amazon Open Search Service is a managed service that makes it easy to deploy, operate, and scale open search clusters in the AWS cloud. AWS Open Search Service is fully compatible with open source and provides additional features and integrations with other AWS services. Amazon Open Search is just a successor to Amazon Elasticsearch Service. AWS offers open search service to perform log analytics, real-time monitoring, visualizing up to unstructured data, and many more. Amazon Open Search helps us to perform search and analytical text tasks. In the year 2021, AWS Elasticsearch was renamed to Open Search. So here are the key points about Amazon Open Search Service. First is managed service. AWS Open Search Service is a fully managed service, which means AWS takes care of the operational aspects such as hardware provisioning, software installation, patching, and backups. Second is compatibility. Uh, Amazon Open Search Service is compatible with Open Source Open Search, which is a distributed search and analytics engine. Open Search is built on Apache Lucene and provides a powerful and scalable solution for searching, analyzing, and visualizing large volumes of data. Third is integration with AWS services. Amazon Open Source Service integrates seamlessly with other AWS services such as Amazon VPC, AWS Identity and Access Management, Amazon CloudWatch, AWS Key management service and many more for the security features aws open search service provides security features such as vpc support encryption at rest and in transit fine grain access control through iam and access policies and integration with the aws key management services for managing encryption key so if there's use cases aws open source service is commonly used for a variety of use cases including full text search long and event data analysis application monitoring and many more we will see the difference between open search and elastic search first is licensing in elastic search elastic search was initially released under the apache 2.0 open source open source license however in 2021 elastic the company behind elastic search changed the license for some of its components to the server side public license which is not recognized as an open source license by the open source initiative Open Search. Open Search is developed as an open source project under the Apache 2.0 license. This means that the code is open and can be freely used, modified, and distributed. Second is governance and development. Elastic Search. Development and governance of Elastic Search were primarily under the control of Elastic, the company that created it. The change in licensing caused caused some concern within the open source community. Open Search. Open Search is a developed under the governance of the open source community which includes multiple contributors and stakeholders this is seen as a more community driven and open source approach third is compatibility both open source and elastic search are compatible with each other at the api level this means that application and tools built for elastic search can generally work with open search and vice versa fourth is aws integration elastic search services on aws prior to the licensing changes aws provides the Elasticsearch service, which was based on the Elasticsearch open source project. In response to the licensing changes by Elastic, AWS created Open Search and it launched the Open Search service as a managed service, providing users with an alternative to Elasticsearch. Open Search service on AWS. AWS offers the Open Search service, which is based on the Open Search project. It allows users to deploy and manage Open Search clusters in a managed AWS environment, community, and ecosystem. Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a well-established community and ecosystem with a wide range of plugins, tools, and resources available. Open Search. Open Search is building its own community and ecosystem and its benefits from the contributions of various organizations and individuals. Now we'll see the prerequisites. Before proceeding, make sure you have the following prerequisites in place. You will need an Amazon Web Service account in your if you don't have one, you can sign up for a free AWS account, basic knowledge of AWS services and concepts. So now let's create an open source document. Step one, sign into AWS Management Console. Open AWS Management Console. We will create here a domain 
basically domains are the cluster with settings instance types instance code counts and storage resources that we will specify once logged into aws management console search for open search in the search bar at the top of the page so we'll search open search now we'll click on the amazon open search service from the search result to open the amazon open source service dashboard step two create new amazon open source cluster now we'll click on create a new domain button in the amazon open source service dashboard enter a new domain name for your open source cluster mine is new domain so in new in domain creation method select standard create Choose the appropriate deployment configuration such as development or production based on your requirements. In this example, I'm using DevTest as a template. Select a deployment option that corresponds to the availability goals for your application. Choose domain without standby. Also choose 1AZ option here for this example for not occurring any extra charges. Under the engine sub options section, select 2.11 latest as the version for your cluster. Then configure the remaining settings for your requirements. Select an install family and type that corresponds to the compute memory and storage needs of your application. Now select general purpose and in instant time we will select T3 small search. We will edit the number of nodes. We will keep it one. and we'll put the storage size per node 10. So leave remaining setting as default. In the network section, select public access and dual stack mode. In fine grain access control, enable fine grain access control. Choose create master user, enter the master username as admin, enter the master password. And we will confirm the master password. Step three, wait for the Amazon open source cluster to be created. The Amazon open source cluster creation process may take several minutes. Wait for the process to complete. You can monitor the on the of the cluster creation on the Amazon open source service dashboard. Domain status is in a loading state right now. Let's wait. So after waiting 15 minutes, it's in the active state now. Here you will get open search dashboard URL and domain endpoint. Click on URL to open the open search in new tab. So our step four is open open search dashboard. We will wait until let's get loaded. So our step four is open open search dashboard. So here we will enter your username and password which we have given in the above steps. I have already added the username and password, so we will move forward. So now let's move to the open source dashboard and there we will add some sample data for visualization.
So let's add sample data and visualize it. Visualize it in the dashboard. Now we will add uh, here sample e-commerce data. It will take some time. So now we'll click on view data. So you can search your data and analyze your data by adding filter. Also, you can create your own dashboard here. select the operator Let's select values the male or female then we'll save so this is all about how we can use the aws open source service in an efficient way we are all done now so we will conclude with so as you can see in this video, we have learned how we can create AWS open search service domain. So this is really very quick and simple. If you like this, please share and show your appreciation by giving thumbs up. And don't forget to give me suggestion on how I can improve my articles that can suit your needs. So guys, thank you so much. See you in the next video.